Welcome to Deep Tutors YouTube channel, where we teach you everything you need to know about financial markets and making money online. I am so excited to have you and can't wait to share my knowledge and experience with you because I've been in the market since 2017. Now, if you're looking to learn how to invest wisely, grow your wealth, and create a successful online business, then you have come to the right place. Our videos are designed to both be informative and engaging, providing you with the practical tips and strategies that can help you to implement right away. So if you want to stay ahead of the game and take control of your financial future, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on the post notification. Now you won't afford to miss the next video coming. All you need to do is to stay connected. Now, thanks for stopping by and see you in the video. All right, okay, this is another week. I want to show you what is actually going on in DXY so we can actually see what can happen with Bitcoin price. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you the last week that just ended what um, really happened and how DXY is actually reacting or, you know, how the market is actually doing. So remember, anything that happened to DXY has a way of reflecting to Bitcoin. But Bitcoin price didn't move as much this current week. We we're just having some ranging and, you know, the market went, went down a little bit at a higher low level, which if you watch my previous video, I was saying that even if I'm going to long Bitcoin, I'm going to be buying at that level, which I'm going to show you in this analysis. So looking at that, um, uh, do we now say are we bearish or bullish in DXY? So looking at where we are and where we start bouncing off from, the market just tapped into these uh you know these are uh, demand delay area here we saw a break you can see it. we saw market broke with the body close we push up we come back thinking that we're going to create more lows but we see what we did we actually grab liquidity it's kind of like m pattern you can see push up and come down and market pushed up heavily and um we pushed up massively i think on um, monday we'll have a bearishness on tuesday another bearishness on um, on Wednesday we had a bullish movement, Thursday bullish movement, Friday we have a bearish close. You can see, but well, all of these movements are creating a lot of sequence, which is you know higher highs and higher low formation. You can see this is a high, this is higher low, this is higher high, higher low, this is another higher high. Then obviously what happened on Friday looks as if we're creating a higher low. So what can I say? I can actually say that we're actually printing some bullish movement, you know, pushing to the upside. By next week, I want to see the market uh, DXY getting to 103.765. So and um, if that if we clear that supply level, obviously we are re returning back to you know 104. Obviously looking forward to get to 105. Uh, 105.0. 0.094 and 105.872 if possibly push all the way up to 107 so this is what we're actually looking at so me i'm still bullish on dxy even if you check on a weekly chart let's check on the weekly chart as you can see um looking at what just happened we just pushed up tapped into uh this break uh, this is called breakout and retest some people can call it breakout and retest and you can see this week that close kind of like not doge but it's not in this this is an indecision candle that that indecision meaning that we can actually go up or go down but looking at what is possible i think we'll, we'll keep on continue going up to start attacking 105.094 so this is just what i'm actually expecting so if that happens we're going to see some bearishness in bitcoin and um, you also see bearishness in, you know, in gold, in Euro USD, AUD USD, and so many, or even so many, okay, USD JPY will be pushing up, USD card will be pushing up, and so many other things that's going to happen in the market. So this is just my analysis on DXY. I think DXY is going to be strong this week. But we're going to have first some bearishness before we start seeing some bullish movement. On DXY before the end of this current week, which is the month of July. And by the way, 
let me use this opportunity to welcome you to this beautiful month of july this is like half of the year welcome to july all right let's go to bitcoin to see what is going on in bitcoin right now okay this is bitcoin um on a weekly time frame all i can see here is bullishness there is no sign of bearishness until we get to thirty two thousand three hundred and forty. i told you guys i'm not going to be doing anything until we get to that level for me to see what the market is going to do once we get to that level you know you know like a lot of people will be like oh this is a double top let me start selling it forgetting that we are still in a very bullish movement until we get to this supply level of 32,340. It is very important. I think that's a very strong level. So let's go to daily to see what price action is, is doing on the daily. Now, looking at what happened, you can see we had a very, very rough week for Bitcoin. Um, this move started on the uh, 21st, this last massive movement. Then on Friday, um i think um uh, let's check on uh, monday let me see monday this monday comes you can see this is ranging bitcoin practically range this week so you can imagine if you're trying to buy or trying to sell so this was a demand level i draw that that last week you can see on 29,554. you see how the market just tapped it and move up and this is why i love higher time frame demand and supply because the market tends to respect them a lot so now I didn't take a buy. Let me not say I take a buy. I didn't take a buy, but I was actually expecting the market to push up. So looking at what just happened, I'm very much, you know, very much clear that the market is going to push all the way up to 32,000. So if we go to forward to see what is actually going on in forwards, uh, you can see some um, bullishness. So where am I going to take a long or where am I recommending you guys to take a long? I'm not recommending anything to anybody, but uh, like I said, I'm going to be patiently waiting. Thirty thousand and thirty-two thousand is not is not too far. It just this is what what we need to cover from here to here. So it's not that a big move. Yeah, it's still a big move, but I, I kind of like I'll be patient to see what we're going to happen and how the market will get there because this is kind of like you can imagine trying to take buy sell. It's going to be crazy. So guys, it is very important for you to understand this. So it's, it's very easy to tell you, oh, take a, a long at 30,334 or take a long at uh, 29,900. You know, I can say all those things, but what if the market didn't get there or go below below those prices? So it's very important. I can't say anything now. So you have a decision to make. Um, for me, I'm very much patient to see what's, what the market will do once we get to 32,340. So that is what I'm actually expecting. So looking into all that pairs, let's look into to see what is going on in Pepe. All right, so this is Pepe. If you watch my previous video, I'm very bullish in Pepe on the long term. Very, very bullish. Let me show you what just happened in Pepe. Um, looking at uh, the price that was present for the Pepe to go up. So this is a weekly time frame. Let's go to daily. Daily has more, more information. As you can see, I was present to buy in two locations in two demand area this is the first one of who the market get there um reacted one thing i love about higher time frame demand and supply regions definitely you're going to see a reaction so you see that the market reacted and because the selling pressure was much came down to tap into the you know the last supply oh sorry the last demand and you can see the reaction you can see tap move tap again move you can see some kind of consolidation that happened here before we had first initiation a little bit pullback that's a retest you will see a massive movement you can see this is crazy you can imagine if you are following my videos you're actually going to capitalize on this uh beautiful trade so what am i going to do from here um looking at what the market has done so looking at the low the market has created on a daily uh which is this this is a, a low the market has created so let's go to four hour for me longing these uh pepper until bitcoin becomes bearish is actually very beautiful so if i go to four hour right now to see if i can see a possible uh buy opportunity uh for me that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna patiently wait for the market to come and tap me in this place um to push up so that's what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna be doing any other thing uh you know you can see uh, this is a kind of like 28 percent or even to the market to push up but i'm not expecting it to return to the previous high because bitcoin can be bearish anytime it can just push up to 
maybe to these supplies you know trying to clear all of these supplies so that will be my around maybe 50 percent gain from here to here okay i'm correct that's about 60 percent let's say 55 percent gain so you know we can actually make that quick box i'm going to be setting a buy limit here to buy this token here right here to take my profit here so you can see this is amazing guys so and this is what i do in this channel to be able to explain to you you know everything you need to know about the market I believe you you are you kind of like understand what i said and thank you for watching this video and see you in another video